Well, it's fall, and what better guest to have on the show to talk about fall desserts than Lily? And Lily Halabi with Lily Cakes in Harker Heights is here today. This is a beautiful, like rustic looking yes. mm -hmm. apple pie yes. or tart? It, or? Yes, it's a rustic apple pie. It can be called a uh, tart, I guess, too, but it's super easy to make. And I mean, it looks great. It, it smells delicious yes. and it tastes amazing. It looks like what you'd get out of your cake. <laughs> yes. I mean, it's and it, make us look legit. Exactly. Us, right? Exactly. So um, very easy to make, like I said, and the ingredients for it. Of course, I like to mention them. Mm -hmm. uh, ready pie crust. Really? Okay. One of them. Yes. Just one. We need. And then you need um, two large Granny Smith apples. Okay. They are going to be peeled and cored and sliced. They okay. are about. This thick, you can go a little thinner if you would like to, okay. but usually I make them about this thick. Okay. Now to that, I add the juice of half a lemon okay. to prevent it from getting brown, even though it has it, look, it, it turned a little brown. A little bit, yeah. Yes, and then to that, we are gonna be adding a quarter cup of brown sugar. Mm -hmm. And in here, I mixed the spices that go in it, which is half a teaspoon of cinnamon, mm -hmm. It has uh, a quarter of a teaspoon ginger mm -hmm. and one eighth of a teaspoon cloves and nutmeg. Mm -hmm. Those are strong spices, so be careful. Yeah. <laughs> Don't overdo it. Yes. Yeah. And then this here, actually, I feel like it brings all the smells and the flavors together. Just a little bit of orange zest. Okay. Um, I would say if you are one that likes to measure, maybe. What's that, a half a teaspoon? <laughs> <laughs> Just enough, you can smell it. Yeah, <laughs> so good. So um, you're gonna mix them all together and um, you're gonna prepare you. You've, I'll show you how to do the pie crust as well. Okay. And you can also add a little bit of raisins. Mm -hmm. It adds texture, it adds a little more sweetness mm -hmm. and you did the golden raisins, does it I matter? Did go um, do it that? doesn't, but I prefer those. Yeah. You can also do cranberries. Oh, yeah. If you want a little more color. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't put them right from the beginning, maybe halfway, so okay. they don't burn and then they don't look like a cranberry. Yeah. <laughs> so there you go, you mix them. Okay. Oh, we forgot one thing cornstarch. Okay. So a quarter teaspoon, a um, quarter cup of cornstarch. Okay. You mix it all together and then, for the making a mess here. No, I don't okay. Like Do you want me to open this? You can, yes, we'll see please. If I can. Oh, you opened it. <laughs> I you, try. you know who you're dealing I with. Try. I know. I know, guys. It's just the time. You know, we always have just a certain amount of time on camera, and we have to do as much as we can. So unroll this. Unroll it. Um, you can do parchment paper, okay. which makes it easier to clean. Okay. And then unroll it. Yes. Let me move it up your way. Okay. Sorry, I'm reaching. You're over. good. All right. How's and that? Perfect. Get her. Yes. So now all you have to do is place the apples. If you are one that's OCD, <laughs> you can definitely try to arrange them all in one direction. Yeah. <laughs> or if you want it to look very rustic, just dump them in there. <laughs> Whatever makes you feel comfortable. I don't want you to feel overwhelmed that, oh my gosh, she did it this way. No, I love it though, because I think it would be beautiful either way. Yeah. You know, it's exactly. just so. So, I mean, there you go. Okay. Doesn't look too bad. <laughs> that looks Take good. off my glove. And then what we're gonna do, let me bring it here. Here, I'll hold for you. What is that? Okay. So it, it still shows on the camera, right? Yes. So what you're gonna do is the edges, you're gonna fold them and put them together. Just fold pinch and pinch. It. Uh huh. Okay. Fold and pinch. Doing it so fast. I know. <laughs> Professional here. I, know. I guess I'm so it. used to like competing that I like you have to like go fast. Pinching <laughs> for her life. Yeah. Okay. It actually that's what it feels like sometimes. <laughs> and then you're gonna add uh, one tablespoon of butter. Okay. Just pieces of butter. You can just oh cut my them goodness. small. Yes. <laughs> and just, just place, place them. them. Yes. So this will go in the oven. At for about 35 minutes. Okay. At 375 degrees. If you have a convection oven, um, keep an eye on it because those tend to heat faster. Okay. Um, for about 20 minutes on 375, mm -hmm. and then you're gonna drop the temperature to 350 for another 15 minutes. Um, it becomes golden brown like that. Okay. And if you wanted to have a little shine, you can do an egg wash mm -hmm. and put it on, brush it on before you put it in the oven. All right, let me put it. <laughs> We're gonna stay here and eat it, but you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye, y'all.